What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so here we are, guys. We're going to be going into the power plant because, well, we wanted to split episodes and all that stuff. It is friggin' windy as heck, and uh, I kind of feel like there's an item right here. No, there's no item. Yeah, we're going to be going into the power plant because Team... What was it? Team Flare is uh, up to no good yet again, so let's see what this is all about. So, here it is, guys. The Kalos Power Plant. Now, if you guys remember, in the very first few episodes, we went into... What was it called? Tantaloon City? No. Uh, I completely forgot the name of the city, but yes, there has been a huge blackout in the Kalos region that has prevented us from going anywhere and anywhere and anywhere and stuff. So, we're going to take care of that right here. Power Plant. Knock, knock. Who's there? Huh. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, so I, I am not reading that. Seriously, though, who are you? Only authorized personnel are allowed in here. And, well, here it is. We are ready to battle and taking on a Team Flare Grunt, and he's going to be coming out with his Scraggy right here. Okay. So this is the place to... This is the place to get yourself some experience points. If you guys remember, in the last episode, we got ourselves... What was it called? Uh... We got ourselves a uh, Star Fox some flamethrower right here, so now it's become a little bit more powerful and all that crud. And, well, <laughs> Nacho Libre, doing Nacho Libre things, so we're gonna be taking on a Crow Gunk right here. Let's go right ahead and use Sharp Tooth, mainly because we kinda wanna use him right now and all that stuff. Stu, so, let's go right ahead and uh, do our thing right here. So, Sharp Tooth looking all mean and everything, ready to use a friggin' ancient power. And hopefully this will increase all of its stats right here, but it's not that effective. So here comes a Mud Bomb. That is super effective. Holy buckets. Okay, so... Yeah, we are not equipped to take on this Pokemon, but we're going to be going straight for a... Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to be going for a Rocky Helmet and a Dragon's Tail right here. And just like that, Krogunk has been defeated. What now? Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so... I guess we were doing the right thing. Kinda. Maybe. I don't even know. Alrighty. So, who do you think you are? Team Flare is busy redirecting the power of this supposed to go to Lumioi City, see? Don't get in our way! So that's what it's called, Lumioi City. Yes, I already know, guys. I forget a lot, but it is what it is. So, let's go into this room right here, and you're gonna be finding some workers. This guy is like, what you mean that you're here to rescue us? You're just a kid! That blasted Team Flare. They've come to uh, for the sole purpose of stealing the electricity we sent to Lumio City from here. Huh. And this guy, space-based photovoltaic power generation or generator. I can't believe this state-of-the-art technology has fallen into the hands of with a bunch of criminals. And then, how about some fresh water? They usually go for two hundred per bottle, but just for you, I'll sell them for three. Wow. Yeah, he's like money gouging and all that stuff. Which isn't that illegal? Isn't that kind of illegal? I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this guy. I tried to hide here, but I think I got stuck. And that blasted Team Flare. The energy was only made possible with the efforts of Pokemon and our state-of-the-art technology. And if we go right here, we're going to be finding ourselves a Zap Plate, which is always great. And then uh, let's go right here. And... Let's see what we got. We're going to be finding some team members and all that stuff right here. We're going to be finding, yeah, Team Flare members. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and use Jordan the Goat because we haven't we haven't used this Pokemon in quite some time. So let's see what these guys have. And uh, are you trying to play us for a full kid? You don't seriously think you can barge in here and take us all, on all by yourself. Yes, I can. Because I got the right Pokemon. I am the best. And, well, here we have a Team Flare with their Krogon, and I, again, picked the wrong Pokemon. Good God! Okay, so, here's an anticipation, but I do have Bulldoze to help me out right here. So, here we go. Bulldoze for the win. And there you go. Say goodbye to Krogon. Alrighty. And that will give us a little bit of experience points. So, here comes Golbat. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to Nova. We're going to give everybody some uh, some love right here. So, 
Here comes Nova. How's it going, Nova? And yes, we've, we're we going to be taking on a Golbat right here. So let's go straight for a Thunder Wave. And wow. Gotta love. You got to love the Swift Attack right here. So here it is. A very, very good Paralysis on this Pokemon right here. And we're going to be going straight for a Parabolic Charge. And... Here it is. Parabolic Charge does its thing, and it will recover us. Look at that. Oh, my God. And here comes an Air Cutter. And that right there is not super effective. So here we go again. Let's get it with another one. And bam. Just like that, we get ourselves another victory. And bam. Nova grows to level 35. A very good level, and it's and it wants to learn bulldoze. Okay, so let's go ahead and take away mud slap. Okay, so this Pokemon has become is becoming the total package right here because it can only learn, not only can it learn electric type attacks, but ground type and uh, water type too. Uh, I guess that normal type capability is coming in handy. Alrighty, so there we go, another victory for us. Let us move on. Let's see. Let's go right here. Okay, so we're back. My bad, guys. I am uh, still feeling under the weather, but I'm still getting this done. And here we have another Team Flare member. He's going to be like, hey, stop there, intruder. I warn you now, I can be persistent. Huh. Me too. I am very persistent. So here it is, guys, taking on another another Team Flare member. He's going to be coming out with a pretty good Pokemon, Mighty Anna. So let's see what this Pokemon trainer can do. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Mariana, how's it going? Let's go with a Seed Bomb attack right here. And just like that, Seed Bomb does it. Not really. But yes, we're going to get Swagger right now. And, uh... Well, let's see. Swagger and Confuse. So, let's go Strength attack right here. Come on. Strength attack. And there you go. Alrighty. So there's another Pokemon defeated, and, well, let's see, what else can we do? Nothing else. So, as you defeat this individual right here, he he's being for real. He is in a persistent one, because what he's going to do next, he's like, No, I'm mad! I told, I, was, I told you I was persistent. I refused to budge from the spot, not an inch. So we're going to have to go all the way around in order to, you know, continue our adventure right here. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is... We're going to be switching up our Pokemon, and let's go straight to Blade, also known as Dewblade. And uh, let's go ahead and restore our Pokemon right here, too. And off screen, we did buy ourselves some Hyper Potions, just in case for this situation. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Oh, I, sh I sure do love my me a good happening. I love the feel of, of accomplishment that comes with over, uh, overcoming a challenge. Huh. Okay, so here we go, taking on another Team Flare member, and he will be coming out with his Scraggy. This, of course, is gonna... Yeah, this is gonna be bad for us, because we are double weakness towards this Pokemon. Although we do have one move that can work, but I am not going to take my chances right here. So let's go s straight to Nacho Libre. And... Uh, well, let's see what Nacho Libre does right here. Here comes Payback Attack. That could have defeated my Pokemon real quickly right there. So here we go. Flying Press for the win. Both Flying and uh, Fighting Type Attack. And bam. Let's say goodbye. Okay, so that's more experience points. Blade grows to level 37. And well, here comes Golbat. So let's go straight for Nova yet again. Oh, yeah, we're giving everybody a little bit of love. See what that does for us right here. So here comes Nova and Golbat. How's it going? Let's go straight for a Thunder Wave because we all know you're faster than us right now. And here comes Thunder Wave. Being strategic as heck. 
And, well, let's go straight for a parabolic charge. Just to regain a few HP points right here. And just like that, we take the majority, or we take half of its HP right there. And an air cutter is going to hit us. Holy buckets. Thankfully, that was not super effective. So let's go one more time. Parabolic charge for the win. And there you go. Golbat defeated. Okay. All righty. Not bad. Okay. All righty. And look at this. We have defeated another Team Flare Grunt. Yeah, we're going to be facing a lot of Team Flare Grunts right here, guys. So just keep an eye out for that, guys. And, uh, well, there's a victory. And what is next? Let's move on to the next Team Flare Grunt. And, uh, you know what? Blade still needs to... You know, grow a level here and there. See if we I can we can actually battle a Pokemon right here. Aren't they? Are, <coughs> aren't these sunglasses the coolest? I bet you're jealous. Too bad that you can't have them, huh? I wonder if we defeat you. If we defeat you, you give us the glasses. That'd be great. And here he comes out with a Golbat. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with the Swords Dance. Here comes an air cutter, not going to be super effective. Look at that. And here comes just a slight charge to our, our physical attack. And yes, thanks to leftovers, we are going to get a little bit of HP back right here too. Alrighty, so let's go with the Night Slash right here. And yeah, that's not going to work. Yes. Finally, our Steel Tech capabilities are you know working right there. And just like that... Golbat has been defeated, and Nacho, without doing anything, get some points right there, and, uh, well, let's see, getting a little bit more experience points, or a little bit more points right there, let's go straight for another Pokemon, and let's get it, Night Slash for the win, and that here comes that Odor Sleuth, which, of course, will become uh, easier for this Pokemon to beat, it, to beat us, or to hit us, as a ghost type Pokemon and well we're getting some more HPs and let's go straight for another night slash attack right here and uh, what are you doing swagger so he's increasing our yeah so we're so our physical attack has been going up it's like six like it's four levels up right here so it's, this Pokemon has become incredibly powerful and just like that BAM it's a victory right there for us if we ever saw one and Sharptooth has grown to level 37 and is learning Dragon Claw. Let's see. You know what? We're going to take away Dragon Tail because it's not really much of a move that, you know, it's not too accurate and all that stuff. So there we go. Nova grows to level 36. And bam. That is how you do it right there, guys. Bam. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch, or let's go ahead and uh, figure out. Well, let's go ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out. Sharp Tooth, Sharp Tooth is about to, or yeah, Sharp Tooth is about to evolve. There is just one little issue, and that is that is on my Nintendo 3DS. It's currently nighttime, so I'm gonna have to wait a few hours in order for it to like to be daytime because it can only evolve at level 39 via daytime. So. If I do skip a few levels in the nighttime and all that stuff, I do do excuse me. Yeah, it's just you know playing this in you know what like it's currently three o'clock right here, guys. So it's daytime right here where I'm at, but over in Australia it's nighttime. So yeah, huge explanation right there. So there you go, a victory for us. Star Fox grows to level 43, and well, we have defeated another Team Flare Grunt. What now? Alrighty, okay. We're kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that. Alright, let's move on to the next person. And this person's going to be looking at us. It's like, what do you want? What should I do? Hmm. How about inflicting some serious pain to your Pokemon? Yeah, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. So, let's go right ahead and take on a female Team, uh, team Flare member right here. And... Well, let's go ahead and go with the flamethrower attack right now. And that is going to make us flinch right here. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Let's go flamethrower for the win. And 
just like that. It was a critical hit. Say goodbye to Lifebird. Okay, alrighty. So we're, we're growing levels, and here comes a Swallow. So let's go right ahead and continue it on right here with Star Fox. And Psyshock should do the trick right here. So here we go, Psyshock. And just like that, Swallow defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. And Blade grows to level 38. So yes, as you guys can see, these Pokemon are these Pokemon are growing up before our very eyes, yes. Okay, so let's see. What's next right here? There might be another trainer. Oh my god! It will never end. So let's see. Let's do it again. Alrighty, so here we are taking on another Team Flare member, and there she is coming out with her Crow Gunk. Okay, so let's go right ahead and finish off this Pokemon with a simple a simple attack right here. Let's go Side Shock. For the win. And look at you, look at you. Krogonk defeated. Alrighty, alrighty. So let's see. Who is next? Lyperd. So let's go with Nacho. See see if Nacho can actually do something right here. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Lyperd with Nacho Libre himself. And uh well, let's see. Let's go straight for a flying press. Just to win this. Oh my god. You gotta love fake out. What is it with Dark type Pokemon using that move? It's it's, it's ridiculous. Alright, let's go right ahead again. And there you go, Lyford defeated. And well, look at that. Bam! Nacho grows to level 39. And the next Pokemon coming up is Scraggy, so this Pokemon right here is gonna be defeated either way. Alright, let's go straight again with a flying press. It is a dual type move. It will defeat this Pokemon either way. Bam! Scraggy defeated. And there you go. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so yes, losing to you, something like that. Too bad. Okay, so let's see. Let us move on right here. And this one will lead us straight right well, yeah, this will lead us right behind the guy that is persistent. He's like, now I'm mad. I told you I was persistent, and uh okay, yeah, well, he says the same thing right here, so. Alrighty, let's go straight towards this section right here. And as you guys can see, there are two no good doers. I hope I said that correctly. And uh do gurus or no guru doers. I can't even say it right, guys. Let's go right ahead and switch it to Ooh. Hmm. You know what? Nacho's gonna Nacho's gonna benefit from this right here. So let's go straight to these guys and look at this. They're draining the They're draining the energy in it. Well, he's like, how much longer? If you're just interested in facts, I'd say we already have enough energy to power the device. Good, let's finish up here and move out. There's still more work to be done. What other work do you mean? Perhaps you mean taking out that annoying little Pokemon trainer over there. Hmm. What's this? I didn't think we... I didn't think anyone remained here after we dealt with the workers. Huh. Okay, so here we are taking on a Team Flare admin, Baldi. And he's going to be coming with his... Uh, yeah, he's going to be coming out with his Houndoom right here. So I think I probably... Yeah, I think I picked the right Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and go straight for a Flying Press, just for the win. Alrighty. Flying Press does the trick. And there you go. More experience points for our Pokemon. And a Team Flare member has been defeated. He's like, man, I should have carried more Pokemon right here. And, well, there it is. Another victory for us. And what is next... And he's like, hmm. Scientist, take care of this pesky intruder. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Come on, little trainer. Let's see what you've got. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on a Team Flare member. Allow me to introduce myself, intruder. My name is Eliana. As you can see, I'm one of the Team Flare scientists. I'm researching certain something that you wouldn't understand anyways. Unfortunately for you, I've been charged to, with a simple test of your elimination. Okay. Well, 
Here it is. Let's go right ahead and take on Eliana right here. And she does come out with a mighty yet mighty Yana. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna lower our attack right there. But this is what's gonna happen right here. Flying press for the win. That's right. Jumping off the top rope. And there it is. Victorious. Oh wow. Okay, so I guess that intimidate actually that that yeah, that actually in that actually affect us in some bit. So let's go with the poison jab now that we have it right here. And the poison jab does the thing. Mightyena has been defeated. What now? And well, Nacho Libre grows to level 40. It wants to learn feather dance and uh Hmm. You know what? We're just gonna keep the same moves. Eventually I'm gonna teach reteach it sword, swords dance. So there we go. And well, Star Fox grows to level 44, and Aliana has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So I think we saved everybody right here, I think. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> well, I, cer I certainly didn't expect you to be so interesting. I hope we do meet again. Huh, okay. And just like that, we got these two individuals coming at us, and like, oh my... Yeah, they're looking around. He's like, you chased off the uh, that mysterious bunch before we could even get here. No, I didn't. You guys were being lazy. Well, I guess there's always room for more defenders of Kalos. Let me heal your Pokemon as a thanks. Hmm. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team. No doubt about it. But don't push yourself too hard. Here, take these. And here it is, guys. We get ourselves some full restores. Thanks to you, the power is back on in Lumioi City. Now people can pass through the gate and connecting to Route 13 to, to Lumioi City again. Well, I think uh, I think us mysterious people will be off now. I leave before being uh, left, I decide. Au revoir. Okay, alrighty. And because of that, I guess... Yeah, we saved of Kalos. We did things for Kalos. I... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did a lot of things for Kalos right here, so let's get the heck out of here. And uh, let's get the heck out of here and move on to the next portion of this whole section. So it looks like everybody's saved, they're happy, and what we need to do now is we're going to be going back to Lumioi City. There's, there's a few things you guys need to keep your eyes peeled for. Because the legends start to, uh, start to uh, uh, like unravel itself right here. So, look at that. It is daytime. Holy buckets. It's daytime. Okay, so I am not worried about Sharp Tooth anymore. And what we need to do now is go right here without getting attacked by a Pokemon. Good gravy. Okay. Okay, so we're not doing anything right there. There is a hidden item close by, but now that we've done everything, we're going to go right here and... Hmm. The Pokemon, the flower Pokemon, the Pokemon that was given eternal life. Huh. That is a big dude. That is one big dude, and uh, yeah, we got we got a lot to cover, guys. So, what I'm going to do right here is use Rock Smash, because there are quite a few uh, hidden items and Pokemon ready to attack us right here. Yeah, you got to love that. And would you look at that? We're finding ourselves a Macargo. You know, I might as well capture it. I mean, I haven't captured a, a Macargo in quite some time. So let's go with an Ultra Ball right here. And there we go. One, two, three, and oh my God! Oh, you gotta love these Pokemon. Stubborn AF and everything, so let's go ahead and do this again. And, uh, well, there's one, there's two, three. Oh, come on! Yeah, this Pokemon is just being, yeah, this Pokemon is just being annoying right now, so let's go right ahead and do this again. Ultra Ball, come on. Don't be lame. 
And there you go. We've caught ourselves a new Pokemon. And, well, our Pokemon are now safe. And this right here gets our Pokemon up to level 37. And from there, we add ourselves a Slugma to the team. Not to the team, but, you know, to the collection and all that stuff. And, well, let us move on to the next section. Actually, there, there could be a hidden item right here. Hold on. There we go. We found ourselves a Stardust. And let's see. Let's go ahead and break this this rock right here. And there you go. No Pokemon attacks us. And we will be able to find ourselves a rare candy. And well, let's see. Nothing else. So let us move on. We're gonna be going into this part of the of the area. Let's see. Talk to this person. I just, uh, it just doesn't feel like Lumio City when the tower isn't lit up. That is true. And uh, if you talk to this person, I heard that Clement was uh, running all about, doing whatever he could to make up uh, for the lack of electricity. Of course, Clement is the gym leader of the Lumio City gym. And here we are, guys, in Lumio City. And we're going to get followed by our, well, one of our friends right here. I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. No, what? I heard Lumio's power is back on, back on here in Lumio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the uh, from the Kalos power plant, and then somebody came and stopped them. No one knows who, but they must be awesome. Do you know who it was? It was me. Ho <laughs> ho! No way, you Sensei? And get this, they're gonna light the tower. Let's go see it, Sensei. It's Lumio City, most famous site. Okay, this site straight ahead you'll uh, run smack into the prism tower Okay, so what we're gonna do guys is Try and find ourselves a well. There's so many sections right here Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go right here. Yeah, she she wants us to go to the prism tower So we're gonna stop right here guys in the next episode We're gonna see the light up of the prism tower and then do everything else Thank you guys again for staying patient, for watching my channel, and uh, for subscribing. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthroughs. See you guys.